and we're recording. So I'm not even gonna go backwards. Sorry guys, I didn't record the beginning, but we are just, I just showed the PV board and the success club board. We've got an awesome amount of people on the success club board. I'm very excited. PV board, we are doing awesome. PV is created by personal orders and customer orders, not coach orders. Alrighty, let's go down to the next page. Come on. It's frozen. There we go. Um, anchorsaway2019.com. If you haven't already done so, if you're a brand new coach, go to anchorsaway2019.com and get on the wait list for our success club trip. Um, this is the only way that you may possibly earn an invitation and then you better crush the rest of the year. Um, otherwise get on this wait list and either way you will be invited to our following the 2020 trip in January. So make sure you're on that list. If you guys want to go to coach summit next year, by that I mean when you guys go to Coach Summit next year, because you should all be going to Coach Summit next year, um, make sure you get your ticket. The tickets are going up in price already, so make sure you keep an eye on the tickets so that makes sure you can get it at the cheapest price possible. And if you want a spot in our house, this is our list for our house. When the spots are filled, they're filled. Um, we have $175 per person for the whole week. Um, that's Wednesday to Monday. Um, it's not per night or anything like that. $175 per person for the whole week. So come, be with us, be in these pictures next year, be on that stage with us, like let's do this. Uh, alrighty. Diamond Retreat. I'm so excited. Like I get more and more excited every single day and I keep buying presents and it's a, it's a problem. So Diamond Retreat is September 13th through the 16th in the Isle of Palms, South Carolina. This place is like my heaven. This is where we, we honeymoon. This is why we moved to South Carolina. I really, really want you guys there. Um, this, these images are actual images of our house we are staying in. Like this is our house for the weekend of September 13th through the 16th. So all you need to do is be diamond to be there. Um, I will pay for everything while you're here you just need to get here all right things to invite to guys we've got our lift four group going um, this lift hit it to quit it group is for any program it's our summer challenge group any program can join we will have a lift four focus um, and if you have any customers interested in doing lift four talk to them about signing up with the coach discount so they can be also in the test group with Joel the test group with Joel starts on Monday as well so make sure you get in um, get those people in there it's Joel is running a challenge group basically so they can like hang out with basically virtually hang out with Joel um, and who wouldn't want to do that so 80 day obsession group is still going on. I think they just pushed into phase two. So they're doing 80 day obsession. So if anybody is joining with 80 day obsession, all they have to do is jump into that group. Um, we have a diastasis recti 30 day challenge challenge. If I could talk um, at the end of this, if someone can remind me, I'll, if anybody's interested in that or seeing what that's all about, it's really incredible. I'm really proud of it. Um, if anybody wants to see that stick around at the end of the call and remind me, like show me the diastasis recti group. Um, cause it's different than any other group. So it's very specific and I'll show you guys what it is if you want to look at it. Um, or at any point, if anyone wants to see it, just let me know. Um, we've got the, what is coaching group. So I post in there on occasion and we'll run a group. We just, things need to settle down for all of our lives. Um, but we're going to do another group in there that that'll be like a three day event of what is coaching. And I'll invite some of you guys to share in there. Your free groups, you should all be running a free group every month. I know it's hard to stick to that schedule. I know there are a lot of work but they are a lot of work to prov to give you a lot of customers. These really work. Um, free groups are super, super valuable. So make sure you're running a free group. Okay, things to plug into. We've, we've been doing power hours or pocket 15s, the power 15s on the team page. Make sure you're jumping into those when you can. Um, team calls Thursday, this team call at noon on Thursdays. The Dynasty United Family Night, I Ours will be posted in our team page a little later today. I scheduled it. So um, they're doing a scavenger hunt, a coaching scavenger hunt tonight at 853. It should be super, super fun. Brittany's leading it. Um, jump into that if you can. It should be a fun. She's doing prizes and games and stuff like that tonight at 853. National wake up calls at Mondays at 11 a.m. Eastern. Um, get on those if you can. They record them and post them in the team page and they're on the Beachbody 411 page. Um, so re-listen to those. This week was Ali Tessitore. I still have not yet listened to it, but she is genius, brilliant, amazing, incredible, real. Watch hers. I've heard it's amazing. Make sure you're watching team page announcements. Make sure even if you've muted the chatterbox thread, you can jump in there on occasion because people add a lot of value in there. Um, the weekly one-on-one -on -one calls with your upline, make sure you do that. Make sure you schedule a one-on-one -on -one with your upline so that you can um, be working on specific goals to you. In trainings, um, Taylor and I were talking this morning. I have 
this very big feeling that you guys are going to love what I'm about to say, but the new coach training is amazing. Raise of hands. Who loves the new coach training? It helps you do all the things. The new coach training was incredible, right? Raise your hands. Yes. Okay. When you get done with the new coach training, you're like, oh shit, now what? I have to do the things by myself, right? <laughs> so we are going to do an ongoing group. It'll be just like the new coach training, but it will be for people who've completed the new coach training and want that accountability for the daily behaviors. We're going to have a new, uh, another training and it will run each month and you can join each month and you will get kicked out if you're not showing up. So I think it'll help hold you accountable to what you're doing. And I think that'll be super awesome. Um, it's in the works. I don't have it all put together yet. So give us a little bit of time, but we will be posting that. And then I'll post an application on our team page and anybody who wants to join can join. All right. I'm really excited about that, by the way. All right. Today, we're going to talk about expanding your market, okay? I've got some notes. I've got um, a little video to watch with Anita Myron, who's one of my idols. Um, and we will be talking about how to reach more people when your posts just get stagnant. When your posts are like the same 10 people like your posts every day, or it's all coaches or whatever, you need to expand your market every single day. So making new friends daily, expanding your market, you guys. There are so many people in this world, so many people, so many people that I talk to, so many people that you can talk to that have never even heard of Beachbody. We're in a business where we can reach out and make genuine connections with so many people via social media. Um, some of these people have joined my team and have been, like the people that I've reached out to have become my best friends via social media. Most of these people have I've reconnected with because of social media, because of this business. Um, I don't know a single person I'm looking, other than Jen Schaefer, I don't know a single person on this call right now who I would be talking to if it wasn't because of social media. Even if I went to high school with you, even if I love you, even if I have no idea who you were beforehand, I wouldn't be talking to you because like there would have been no reason for me to reconnect with you guys. And now I couldn't imagine my life without you. Don't make me cry. Okay, so you are eventually going to run out of your warm market friends as coaches you're going to run out of friends you're going to run out of family you're going to run out of acquaintances to like be like join my join my group do my things with me and you're going to have to figure out how to reach and make new friends every single day and that's scary you guys that's scary like especially if you're like i'm not leaving my house i've got my kids and my husband i'm good um reaching new reaching out to new people can be scary so this is why we're going to break it down you should be adding five to ten new friends to your network daily Okay, five to 10 new friends. You want to be connecting with them, not just adding them, but you want to actually gain five or 10 new friends every day. So we're going to talk about how we can do that. First of all, I'm going to stop sharing and reshare um, my screen because I want you guys to see this if you don't know it's all, if you don't know it already exists. So in your online office, if you go up here to training in your online office, you can click on training, and this is one of the things. The first 30 days, okay, if you come down here into the first 30 days, you're going to see there's a first 30 minutes, a first 30, um, 30 hours, and a first 30 days different folders, okay? And I came into this basic participant one, and there's, okay, when, let, me, let me walk you guys through this because it's going to be confusing. You're going to do this. If you haven't done this already, you should have gotten an email about this. This is the coach basics based on corporate, okay? You do our coach training. This is corporate training. This is all like sales, and I'm going to teach you about sales. But it's very good knowledge to know, and it's very good habits to learn. So I would go into this knowing like, okay, they're just trying to get me to sell shit, not like connect with people. So make sure you read through the lines, but it teaches you what, what is a challenge pack? What is a challenge group? What is the tracker app? What is Success Club? What is Success Starter? It teaches you all of the verbiage that we talk about, like our lingo and stuff like that, to get you um, like up to speed. Okay, so anyway, I wanted to show you the memory jogger. This is one of the things you guys can do. It's a Beachbody corporate sales technique, but it works, um, to build your contact list. Who am I gonna reach out to? One thing you can do is download your Facebook friends list. You can download everybody you're friends with on Facebook, but that just helps you with who to invite. That doesn't help you with who, how to build your list, okay? So go through this memory jogger. I'm going to put the link in the comments. 
Okay, I put the link in the chat box. Um, so you guys have got that. Um, go through, build your contact, contact list. It's basically like a brain dump. Invite or write down everybody's names, all your family, your friends, associates, people you used to work with, people at um, your kid's school, people in networking groups, casual acquaintances, anyone who comes to mind, man, woman, big, small, already does AdvoCare, whatever. As long as they're not a coach already, write their name down. Okay, then go through lists you already have. Your kid's birthday party invitations. <laughs> whatever it might be. Go through the school roster, hard holiday card lists, your church list, whatever it is, go through because those people kind of know you. They kind of trust you. They kind of already have that relationship with you just because they, they're not like cold, cold, cold. Okay, people with fitness or financial interests. Coach, think coach. If they like want to make money, think coach. Maybe they go to the gym, don't like their job, they're competitive, they're ambitious, whatever. You're gonna just brain dump. Write down all these names. Here's some other people you might know. And it breaks it down into every single thing. Do you know any accountants? Do you know any actors? Do you know any advertisers, airline attendants, army officers? It really just makes you think of every single person you possibly know. And you can go through this whole list and make a huge list of people. Like, look at all these. Maybe you know people in Alabama or Alaska or Arizona or Arkansas. Go through all the states. Go through all the different things. Maybe you know people in Canada or England. Why they put Mexico? I don't know. But maybe that's because we're going to Mexico soon. Could be an idea. They just updated this. I'm just letting you know. We just launched Mace de Mas. So that might be cool, but anyway. Um, so that is insider knowledge, just so you know the Mexico thing. But um, if you don't have a list of people yet, make sure you create that list because that's where you're going to start to build your network, okay? So that's just number one. Let me go back to sharing my screen. Going back to the presentation. Alrighty, so use your memory jogger. Okay, next I want you to go through your suggested friends list. On Facebook or on Instagram, there's like a suggested friends, like people to follow, people you should friend. Go through that based off of your mutual friends. So here's a quick little message you can send them if you all wanna screenshot this. Hey, I saw we had a ton of friends in common. Hope you don't mind my friend request. I swear I'm not a creeper. Just wanted to say hi before it was weird if I liked your comments on any of your pitch. How are you doing? People love that. People think it's funny. People like that. Show your personality. This is something I use all the time because I'm like, I swear I'm not a creeper. Kind of a creeper, but not really. Um, just show your personality. Maybe you are like, I would never send that to somebody. Like, change it. Make it, make it your own. All right, next. Go through. <laughs> creepy little. Be a little creeper. Go through. Your good friends Facebook pages, good friends. So like college roommate, husband, sister, cousin, neighbor, whoever. Good friends, people that are close to you, and look through their friends list. Um, somebody's on a different button. Um, so go through their friends list and friend their their friends because. They're going to probably see maybe you have some pictures together or maybe you have something. It's just going to give you a little bit of credibility. So, hey, I see you're also set friends with so-and-so. I love connecting with other moms or whatever. You seem like, um, you and I seem like we have common interests. I hope you don't mind the friend request. Most people are going to be like, oh my God, no, I don't want to be friends. No, they wouldn't. They're just like, okay, no big deal. Um, they like that. Uh, there's a comment. It's okay, Ellie, no problem. Um, so then, hold on, let me get back to my notes. Okay, so honestly, half of the time, I don't even message people. So I'm giving you some suggested messages, but half the time, I don't even message them. Instead, I keep my Facebook wall inspiring. I share a lot about me. A ton about me <laughs> my life my interests I add value I give real life stories every single day um, and I also share a lot about my beach body story my health and fitness story my coaching story as it fits into my life I'm not just like hey join my team because I sell Shakeology I don't mention beach body I don't mention program names I don't mention anything related with I don't name drop at all and I recommend you guys don't name drop either 
Um, but I just share my story. I'm just like, I did this awesome workout this morning with only 20 minutes, whatever. Or I'm like, my kid literally shit all over the floor this morning and I didn't do my workout and because it's a rest day. So I have literally all this pent up energy and <laughs> whatever it is, share your story, share your story. The real, not the highlight reel. Don't give the highlight reel because no one will relate to it. And eventually you're going to get to a point where people are like, she's so fake because that's not all real. Like that, no one has that perfect of a life. So the more real you can be, the less skeptical people are. Okay. Um, also, when you friend request somebody, they're going to go and check your last three to five posts, which means you need to have a public profile. If you have a private profile, they can't see anything. If you send a friend request to someone and your profile is private, they can't see anything about you. They're going to be like, I don't know who this is, and delete the friend request. They're not going to accept the friend request. So you need to have your profile public, your posts public, so that people can see them, and you want to make sure that they're, the last three to five posts always on your page are relatable. So make sure that it's something that, as you're friend requesting people, they're going to relate to those last three to five posts. If I can give you guys any tips of advice, stop scrolling other coaches' pages and start scrolling your own. If you don't want to scroll your own page, neither does anyone else. Keep an eye on your own content. Are you posting the right things? Are your pictures good? Is your story good? Make sure that if, you're, if they all look the same, do something different. Different angles, different stories, different, your workout, don't, make, don't post a video every single day. Do a video, then do like a, a workout pose. Do something different. See what your people like and go off of that. What do you get the most engagement on? Um, do transformations, do all those things. So, um, all right. Okay, once you get those things down, once you are friend requesting, you're sending those little messages, or you are just connecting, whatever it is, um, once you've done your memory jogger and such, here's a few other things you can do, okay? Write down your hobbies and interests, anything you love. Chances are there's a Facebook group for it. Um, Facebook groups are a great place to meet new friends who have common interests. They're groups for dog lovers, even specific breeds, organizations, mom groups, cloth diapering, fashion, etc. cetera. Um, join groups that, and then add value in them. Don't just join groups and like do nothing. Join groups and post in them every day. Make that part of your power hour. Part of my, because I created a group that's supposed to be kind of like one of these interest groups. One Part of my power hour is post value in that group every day. So make sure you put that in your power hour. If you say you join three groups, a mom group, a dog group, and a uh, anxiety group, Every day you should go in there and post three things. So maybe it's you Google something, Google something about like how to deal with anxiety and share that tip in there. Maybe it's um, a question, maybe it's an engaging post like this happened to me last night, can you guys help me? Maybe it's a um, makeup group and you took a awesome, you did your makeup awesome yesterday, give them the palette you use and show them your face. Do whatever it is and add value in those groups every single day so people are like, oh, there she is again, she's awesome, she's really cool. And then as they like your post in there, because like hundreds of people will like your post in there, friend request them all. Add them all on Facebook because they like you, but make sure your profile connects with what you're sharing in there. So if you're talking about anxiety in, in, in an anxiety group, make sure you're talking about anxiety on your page. If you're sharing makeup in a makeup group, make sure there's makeup on your page. Make sure it's on point of who you are. If you're talking about momming, make sure you're momming on your page. I mean, we mom all the time. Oh my gosh, by the way, someone told me the other day or posted on my page that C sec like there's this stigma around C section moms, which I've never heard of. But there's apparently a C section that C section moms aren't real moms. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. Anyway. Um okay, start thinking ahead to another social media outlet. Um, you don't have to do them all. I'm not saying do them all. I'm not even saying do another one right now. <laughs> I'm not. But it's actually better to master one or two than to do them all. Um, so choose an outlet that interests you, that you feel like that you can be consistent with. Maybe it's blogging, maybe it's Instagram, maybe it's a Facebook like page, maybe it's Twitter or YouTube. There are tons of YouTube trainings to learn about each one of those. So if you want to do a blog, do some, do some personal development about how to do a blog. If you want to do a YouTube channel, I know, um, Amanda Gregory is starting her own YouTube channel, which is going to be awesome. I'm, I'm sure of it. Um, she's starting that. So, um, see what works for you and start to go outside of your comfort zone. But if you're not comfortable yet, don't, don't do this until you're already comfortable. 
and then get uncomfortable. But if you're already uncomfortable, stay uncomfortable for a little while. Um, and the last one, run free groups. You should be doing this. Run a five-day free group every month. Any topic you'd like um, that, you help, that you think will help your people. Maybe it is um, a five-day niche yourselves. It's okay to niche yourselves. I do um, the diastasis recti free groups because that's my people. Half of my challenge packs are now going to the diastasis recti group. So figure out your niche and go with that. Maybe it's like lipstick and lunges. And you're going to do like, you've got to wear lipstick and do lunges every day. And you could do a lunge challenge, like 25 lunges, 30 lunges, 40 lunges, and make it go up every day. Something fun like that. Maybe it's um, beat that anxiety. And you're doing an anxiety group, a, a group based on how to use fitness to help your anxiety. And you do a group specific for that. Um, doing something very specific to your niche is going to really help you. I'm, the only two people I see are Brittany and... Jen, so I keep talking to you guys. So you're welcome for this one-on-one -on -one call. Um, then in order to um, add them into your group, they have to be your Facebook friend. So make sure that even if you're talking about these, like in your, in these groups, you join like, oh, I'm going to do this little fun group. Does anyone want to be in it with me? You don't talk about the fact you're a coach in these, in the groups you join, like the mom groups, the anxiety groups, you are not a coach. You are Jen. You are Brittany. You are Tasha. You are Ellie. You are just a person. Don't, brand yourself as a coach in those groups. Just be you and add value as you. And then let them friend request you, you friend request them and let them learn you're a coach on your page, not in those groups, okay? Those groups are just a place for you to give value or you'll get kicked out. <laughs> so, okay, I've got a little value, a video from Anita Myron. It's only like 15 minutes and then we're gonna finish this off with a power 15, cool? So let me pull up this video, stop sharing this. Um, I found it. Where did it go? Here we go. No reshare. Okay, so I skipped the intro. She's just like, hi, I'm Anita Myron. I'm a nine coach, nine star coach. Okay, then building your network and time management. Take notes. So when you sign up for any direct sales or as a beach body coach or as in network marketing, there's so many shiny objects. You open your computer and you sit down to work your business and there's 35 different ways to grow your and expand your network. And for many coaches who sign up, it gets to be very, very overwhelming. I remember just two years ago when I sign that piece of paper to become a coach, the first thing I did was Google search how to expand and build my network online. And I got thousands and thousands of pages of information. And you know what I did? I shut my computer off and went about my business. I did not want anything to do with all that information. I was like, oh. it was email list capture or email capturing lists. Facebook like page, blogging, um, Facebook personal page, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, you name it. I saw it right there. Shut my computer off. I was a brand new mom. I had a brand new baby. And the last thing I wanted to do was sit there all day and figure out all of these different things. And my first thought process was, if I can't figure it all out, I probably never will. If I can't do it tonight, or tomorrow, or in the next couple weeks. There's no way I ever will. I'm just not cut out for this. I'm gonna take a step back. And I'm just going to play with Beachbody for fun and not take it serious. And that's what I did for about the first six months of growing my business. Um, and then I ran out of people to talk to from my coal or warm market. So, I decided as a brand new coach that I wasn't going to build my market or my network. I was just going to talk to the people I already knew on my Facebook. And oh, by the way, I had 200 friends. So that ran out quick. But that did keep me going as a coach as far as motivating me and inspiring me because I had my warm market that was like working with me and really excited and becoming coaches. So yeah, I was able to go diamond without a like page, without an Instagram. Um, and I was able to hit Success Club every month, but then I started to see a trend. 
it got harder and harder to hit it. And my network was just not expanding. So one of the hardest things that I had to go through was not hitting success club one month. And I was pretty PO'd and upset. And I said, okay, now I need to open up myself and expand myself to these crazy, scary tactics of building your network. So I started small. So first of all, I'm going to list out for you all the ways I currently expand and build my market, but I'm going to list out the ways um, from, the from where I started and where I think you should start and then um, how to do these things without overwhelming yourself, okay? So when I got started deciding to build my network, network, deciding to really take this thing serious, the first thing I did was just go, number one, go and search for the words in Facebook, people I may know. Okay, so I searched the words people I may know and a bunch of people came up, a bunch of names came up and I added five to 10 a day. And then the next day I would go back in and check to see if they added me back. If they didn't, I would cancel a friend request because if you have too many outstanding friend requests, Facebook will put you in Facebook jail and you don't want that. Um, and I made sure to add people that I was connected to, that I knew that I could say to that person, oh, I met you at this party, um, I know you from this event, or my husband knows you from high school, or my, my friends went to college with you, or I went to college with you. And I, I did that for a while. But then I started to notice a trend. I was running out of people to add. So I... Next, number two, wrote down a list of things that described me, like the three things that really make me who I am, mom, fitness fanatic, and Christian. Okay, these are the things that I immediately come to mind when I describes me. God-fearing woman, wife, mom, fitness fanatic. Those are, okay, so it's four things. So I went and searched for those groups, groups that pertain to those things. And I got involved in those groups. So for example, for the mommy groups, I joined cloth diapering groups, um, baby wearing groups, attachment parenting groups. Yes, I slept with my daughter in bed. Um, and then fitness fanatic. I wanted to do a fitness competition eventually. So I joined Fitness Competing Moms, and I joined um, running groups, things like that. And I networked that way. No, I didn't spam these groups and tell everybody to join my challenge groups. I got in these groups, and I told people to add me as a friend. I would actually post um, things in the group that I thought were – Pertain, pertaining to the topic at hand. So if it was about baby wearing the group, I would post about baby wearing and I'd ask questions. And if somebody was commenting with me back and forth, guess what? I would add them as a friend. And I did five to 10 of these a day. So every day I was doing five to 10. And then the next day I would go back in, make sure that if they didn't add me back, I would cancel the friend request. And I would keep that process going, okay? And once I got a handle on that, I moved on to the next thing. Okay, so here's the thing what, before I move on to the next social media network building tactic. You got to get good at the very first thing, and you got to get good at the second thing. So give yourself a month or two months per topic or per um, tactic, I mean. So if you're doing the group pages, make sure you get good at that. Learn how not to spam, but learn how to add people. Learn how to get people to add you. Learn how to add value to the group. Learn how to connect with these people using F-O-R-M, form, family, occupation, recreation, message. Get them added to your friend requests, our friend list, and let them see your posts via social media. They'll get the hint that you're a beach body coach and that you've got these amazing groups for people to join. They'll see it on your newsfeed. So let it do the talking while you get to know them and build trust. Okay, so you get good at number two, which is the groups. Then you've got that under, you know, 
handle. You can do that without having to research how to do it. Then you move on. Okay. So next, I went off and I started a YouTube. And in this YouTube, I just, I made my transformation video. Okay, before we get crazy, make a YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm going to stop that there. I'm going to, I will share that recording in the notes from this call. I'll, I think that it was really helpful that I shared all the notes and all the things from the call last time. So I'll continue to do that. Um, I will put the link in our notes and I will share that when we are done with this call. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is, hold on, let me share my screen again. I've got one more slide. Um, I've got a few notes from things that happen this week and then we'll talk about all this after but um some things that came up this week that i really wanted to just ad address hold on here we go okay some tips from this week um the engagement pod the engagement pod is getting a little stressful um for a lot of people because the point of the engagement pod if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, it's our unicorn pod that we like shout unicorn in and such. Um, the point of that is to go in there, shout unicorn, everybody go and comment on your post within 15 minutes. Um, it's kind of gotten to the point that like you go in there, you shout unicorn, and then you just like go back and see who else needed it for the last three days since you shouted it last time. So that's not how those groups work well. So the point of that group is for engagement. I, I'm going, that group is gonna stay, do, do your thing in that group. I'm gonna create a new one. In the team page, in five minutes, I have a schedule to post in there. In five minutes, there's going to be a post posted in the team page that's going to explain what these engagement pods are, how they're supposed to work. There's a little video that you can watch and it'll show you like what the purpose of these is to actually make them work. When you get engagement on your posts, it actually warms up the algorithm to get you more engagement on your next post organically without you having to shout unicorn. So the whole purpose of this engagement pod will be explained in that video. Go watch that video. If you want to be in this new engagement pod, watch the video, comment your takeaways, and I will add you to the new one. Okay, so it's for people that are like really wanting to take this seriously and not just when they need it kind of thing, okay? So there, that will be posted in the team page. Number two, photos. Um, people are freaking rocking their photos this week, but I figured since people are just doing so amazing, might as well keep adding value. Um, I know a lot of you have been making these fun little um, light boxes. The light boxes are super fun. We can talk about those off, off this call if anybody wants to make one. Um, it's what we're using to like make our um, like product pictures and stuff. Um, but some tips. If you're taking photos of yourself, for example, or transformation photos or anything like that, it's okay to edit them. Like we've got pimples, we've got crap, we don't want everybody to see it. We put ourselves out there a lot. It's okay to edit them, but don't make yourself look fake, okay? Don't use Insta Beauty and extremely change it so that you're like, you're like soft looking, like you look fuzzy almost. Make sure you still have definition on your face. Make sure you still look like you have pores because people see it and they're like, oh, she just photoshopped that. Like, it's just like, it's a filter or whatever. People like to see your real face. People don't like to see the, in, uh, the Snapchat filters all the time. They don't like to see the, um, the fake. They want to see the real. If you are going to a fitness coach, think about it yourself. If you are looking for a fitness coach, are you going to look for someone who photoshops their face? <laughs> or are you going to look for someone who's real and getting real results and getting it? And like, they are like, they're them, they're real. You know what I mean? So make sure you are looking for someone who you are being that someone who is real and being confident in your own skin, not having to Photoshop yourself or put a filter on. The more real you can be, the better it's going to be. You can obviously change, like I edit all my photos so that it looks kind of like, like the lighting is different and stuff, but um, just make sure it still looks real. Um, and number four, signing up your spouse. A lot of the new coaches or coaches who have just are now building, um, are interested in signing up their spouse, message me or your coach. It's very, very a good idea. It is a very, very good idea to sign up your spouse. Um, my spouse is at the top of my business because he was the second person, Cassie was my first person to sign up um, as a coach. 
and my income is doubled because he's at the top of my business and he earn, earns all the volume from the other coaches on my team. So make sure that you, if you're all in, you're going to build a business with this, get your spouse up at the top of your business. So that's all I got. Um, I'm going to open it up for a quick questions before we do our power 15 and end out this call. I'm going to stop sharing. We don't need to share anymore. Um, anybody have questions or comments or anything they want to say? Anybody? Jen? No? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, if anybody does have questions, either like write it in the chat box, raise your hand. There's a little button that like you can raise your hand um, or unmute yourself and ask. Okay. Some things I took away from that video. I'm going to give Jen boxes for the photos. Did you say you were adding that to the somewhere? No, we can talk about that. I, I think it was in the chatter box that we were talking about it, but I can totally show you how to do it. It's just foam board. Get some white foam board. Okay. And I got a 10 pack of white foam board off of, what is that? Um, my husband just texted me a picture. Oh, the kids are making blanket boards. They're cute. Um, I got a pack of white foam board off of Amazon. I think I spent like $15. It's big, but it's just yeah. foam board. And it's like, right. but it's like thick. And I, then I taped it together in the style of a box. Oh. And you put it in front of a window and you take pictures with it. It's amazing. Um, Brittany Russell says Michael's has it for two for four dollars if you don't want to wait for Amazon. Um, so yeah, it's it makes it awesome. So what you do is you put it in front of a window. Here, I'll do a quick little demonstration. If you guys need to jump off, we're going to do a power 15 about expanding your network, but I'll do that right after this. Um, so you put it in the window. You face the window. My kids have already been destroying it. So I just put my product in there. And then I take my picture. And then when you take your picture, you're still gonna see the lines and stuff. You just increase the white balance so that the, like you draw all the white out of it. So you just edit it a little okay. bit. And it's like, it looks like your product's just sitting in a white box, like in a, on a white something. Right, okay. So, yeah. It's pretty easy and kind of amazing and Brittany Russell's getting really good at it. And <laughs> Taylor's are gonna look amazing when she gets out of that place. <laughs> um, Thanks. No problem. Um, okay, now let's do a quick power 15. So what I want you guys to do, I re okay, the things I took away from that, um, that call, and you guys can watch the rest of it later. Um, I like that she goes through the, she searches in Facebook people I may know, and she's going to get a whole list of people that you might know. So that's really a good tip. So you have to figure out more people that you'll know. Adding friends, adding five to 10, and then going back, like, so you have to write them down. So as you add your friends, write down the names of the people you added, and then tomorrow go search them. And if they haven't added you back, delete their friend request. It's really smart. Um, there are ways you can bulk delete for everything that you've already added who haven't added you back. So if you guys need help with that, there's like YouTube videos, it takes like five seconds. Um, Write down the three things of who you are. I wrote down mom, businesswoman. I love business guys, like this is my jam. And then I also I put wife, obviously, but I'm more like messy marriage, not like my husband's the best, I'm gonna give him everything. Like I'm more like messy marriage, working on marriage, marriage struggles, like that's my thing, um, just because that's where we are. And um, DIY farmhouse. I like the farmhouse style, but I also don't, I'm really cheap, so I don't like to pay for things. So I'm all DIY farmhouse. <laughs> I'm not Pottery Barn farmhouse. That's not me. I'm like Pottery Barn knockoff farmhouse. Um, but though, like write down who you are, what your things are, and then go find Facebook groups for it. So find, find a Facebook group. So right now, during our Power 15 for the next three minutes, you guys got three minutes. Write down three things of who you are, and do that. Write down your three things. Hopefully it doesn't take you three minutes, but write down your three things. Who are you? Maybe it's four or five things, but write down those things. Who are you?
put them in the chat box when you did it when you're done when you figure out your three to five or whatever it is things put them in the chat box Write down your, if you're just coming back, write down your three to five things of who you are and then stick it in the chat box. Like your things that we're gonna look for. Love it, Julia. Oh my gosh, you're such a crunchy mom. Awesome, one more minute guys, get those in there. Mom, wife, adore, lover, love it. Okay, awesome. Those are perfect for you, Jen. Okay, now what I want you guys to do is get on Facebook, okay? In the search bar, type in one of those things. Um, you might need to be a little specific. So I just did toddler mom, and I'm looking at these and seeing that there's like, there's a mom and dads of toddlers advice group. 5,000 members and 16 of them went to my college. So I'm going to join that one. I, I'm only going to join one in each category right now. You can join more later. You can leave groups later and kind of like figure that out. But I'm going to write down the groups that I joined so I know how to search them. Okay. So as you add yourself to a group, it's probably going to be pending for a while, but make sure you write down the group you joined. The bigger the groups, the better usually. I'm gonna do one for each. I'm gonna do one for each of my categories.
you know, I'm actually personally not going to join any entrepreneur groups right now. I just don't see the value in it for me at the moment, just because it's all going to be other MLM people. Just don't have the energy for that right now. I'm going to continue doing the other ones that are more like niche related. I don't know why I didn't put diocese recti on there. Duh. I'm going to start with that too. Problem with that is most of those are led by other coaches as well. I'm gonna go with C-section mom. Okay. I had a pending request. So they're all pending requests right now. So I will go back later. I wrote down the groups that I joined and I'll go back later and I will check to see if um, I was added to those groups. And then if I am, I will make those groups part of my daily power hour to add value to those groups. So I just joined three. Um, so I'm going to search in the bar, top bar, people I may know. First one, my husband, he has a pending friend request. I should probably delete that. Um, okay, go through your, that list. It gave me a great list actually. I'm pretty impressed. I'm gonna go through this list. I'm gonna pick five to 10 people and I'm gonna write down their names. Hey, Steph, when, when you're looking at people you may know, do you avoid other people that sell things like unique presenters and stuff like that? Everybody sells something. So not necessarily. Um, I avoid it works. I avoid obviously beach body. Um, I avoid people who look successful in Advocare or something like that, but I don't, um, but I don't necessarily avoid everybody now. Okay. Because just because they sell unique doesn't mean that they don't have fitness goals. One of our coaches that on the team also was selling unique. Still is. Okay. Yeah. All righty. Yeah. All right, I sent 10. 
and I wrote down their names. So tomorrow, what I'll go do is check on them and delete any pendings. So tomorrow I'll probably do a pocket 15 and we'll do, we'll delete these and we'll check on our groups and add in our groups for tomorrow. Cool. My light box is moving. Okay. Sound good? I need to go get my kids lunch in bed. Paul came up for you. Friend request him. We were actually looking at your profile this morning. Alrighty. I will talk to you guys later. I'll post this recording. I will start uploading it as soon as we're off of here. So I will talk to you guys in a little while, okay? Great call. Thanks for jumping in, guys. Bye.